Here we are at Mango Joe's in Ruskin, Florida, and today is a special day. We're making a tribute to one of our fallen brothers, that's Brad Rule from The Wrench. And we lost Brad about a year ago, and uh, very suddenly, and um, today Karen Rule has put on this memorial event for him in, in his name and in his honor um, to recognize the American Heart Association. Karen, welcome today. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You did a great job today putting on this event, um, raising a lot of money for the Heart Association. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, we've done really well. Thanks for all the support for everybody coming out. Um, we haven't done the count yet, but we'll let you know. I think we're probably close to $8,000 right now. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. That's fantastic. So I know this really means a lot to you today. Um, you lost Brad a year ago, very suddenly, um, very unexpected, and so you want to give back and so other people don't have to go through this. Yes, I just want to make people aware to, if they have signs, go to the doctor. Don't wait till something happens like this. Well, there you have it, folks. And don't forget the American Heart Association. What a good foundation. Um, a lot of education to bring awareness. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of your health. And listen to what your body's telling you. And thanks to Karen for making that nice donation today. Uh, they'll be able to help and do a lot more research to give us more answers. And Karen, thanks for inviting us here today. We wouldn't miss it. And um, what a great turnout. You put a lot of work and effort into this. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. Oh, one more question. You going to think this is, this is going to be an annual event? Of course. All First right. annual. <laughs> okay. And we'll look forward to the new work coming up. Um, Brad did have plans in place and in paper, and these guys were fortunate enough, the Chicago boys who were burning, were fortunate enough to uh, get a copy of those, and the legacy will continue. Brad Rule Memorial, 2010. Oh, Stay Hawks. tuned. Okay, well here we are now with Effie and this is Brad Rule's mom and um, all the way down here to Florida today from Indiana and I know you're sweating out here and it's hot but this yeah. is definitely worth a good cause, isn't it? Yes, it is and I want to thank everyone for, for coming to this event. It has turned out so terrific. I, it's just unbelievable. A lot of sad things for me but everything turned out so great that now I've got a big smile on my face. Thank everyone for coming and it was nice to meet everyone and I enjoyed myself very much. This has just been such a great, great thing for everyone to respect and know Brad and to do for Brad. I just, I just can't believe that we had such a turnout for the moment of thunder with all the bikes coming from the office, the wrench, down to Ruskin at Mangos where we had our celebration and the uh, memorial service for Brad. Moment of Thunder was phenomenal, wasn't it? Very, very extraordinary. It was, it was just great. Something I'll never forget in my life. And, but Brad was a racer also, wasn't he? He was motocross uh, bike racer, and I've traveled all over the U.S. for that. Um, you get a good mom award and for support. <laughs> oh, yes. And we have very many plaques from dirt bike uh, racing and also from the bikes that he built for custom bikes, we all over Chicago, Wisconsin, Michigan, Tennessee, you, you name it, we've been, just been there. And he, he is not the one that gives up. He, like, he's got to be the winner. But he was just such a little brat when he was a baby. He'd throw fits on the floor. <laughs> but he overcome all that, and thank God, because he turned out to be such a wonderful, wonderful son that I am so proud to be his mother. What better place to show off your custom chopper than at Willie's Tropical Tattoo Old School Chopper Show held every year during Bike Week in Daytona Beach. We caught up with Brad Rule as he was displaying his newest creation and he gave us this last interview. We'll miss you Brad, but your legacy will live on. Speaking of bikes, man, tell me about this one you built. Oh, it's my new, it's a personal bike. 
just got the feeling to do something a little bit more old school. It's got a copper coated rigid frame and the brakes are copper, a lot of the motor covers and this stuff's copper. But the really trick thing about the bike is the carburetors. It's a triple Stromberg 97 carburetor setup. It's just really cool to ride. Just have a good time, man. Daytona Bike Week rules.